Daryl, please! Just open the fucking door! Daryl! Open the door, please. Baby, open the door! Daryl! Open the door! I'm sorry, answering machine? What could you possibly be doing this early? Uh, where's Andy? Like, I wonder if she had a life. Anyway, I'm just calling to let you guys know that I got to New York safely. Um, there's not a whole lot going on here. Oh, and you were right, LA guys are so much cuter than the guys here. <sighs> anyway, um, I guess I better go, so I don't know, like, call me or whatever. Bye. Everybody's looking for something, someone, everybody. What makes it interesting though is where they actually find themselves. I tend to find myself in the spaces in between. I think I found religion in that moment right before you really wake up. When you're still not sure what's real and what isn't. Right there. It's got one fatal flaw, however. The shitty part is that you always have to wake up. Okay, so good news. You're, um, well, Daryl, he's stable. I think he's gonna be fine. Now, are you a relative? Not really. Okay, um, well, right now he's still a little groggy from everything. Yeah, I know the drill. Right, well, if you'd like, I could have a nurse show you to where he is. Technically, you're not allowed into the room. Technically. It's okay. Thanks. Um, actually, you'll want to go this way. No, actually, I don't. I guess this is why I just hate love. Cause you're so pretty. I always fuck up. How long does it take? A minute? A week? A lifetime? I know that patience is everything, but what if people can't really change? Deep down, what if all we're really capable of doing is distracting everyone from what's actually going on underneath? Go! No! Go! Huh? It's green, faggot, go! Oh, fuck. Sorry. What is your deal? Wow. Not wasting any time, huh? You've been back in town for what, all of 15 minutes? More like 45 if you count baggage claim. Right. And you definitely do have a lot of baggage, so... Oh, I'm sorry, was that a joke? Because if you finally made a joke after all these years, I totally wouldn't remember it. 
<laughs> really hasn't been the same without you here. God, I know. I mean, look at what happens when you're left to your own devices. Even if it's just for a month. Excuse me? Come on, Andy's already filled me in on the whole Daryl situation. It has been a month, right? Or am I getting my dates wrong? If she's already filled you in, you should know that everything's fine. Right. God, I mean, he's on methadone, he's an outpatient, and he's been going to meetings ever since. Oh, wow, cool, 30 days. So it's totally gonna be different this time. God, Jake. He's one of my oldest friends, okay? I don't think that losing your virginity to someone at age 16 automatically classifies you as lifelong friends. Why are you such an asshole? Just lucky, I guess. <laughs> Up, Jake. Oh yeah. Did you just wake up? Mm-hmm. I got some pills to help me sleep. In the clinic, baby. Oh. Did you actually like slept, slept? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's cold. Why don't you go get in the shower? Not unless you come with me. I already took one. Not with me, you haven't. No. Now you get to make it up to me. D. You're coming with me. I'm getting in the shower. Oops. God, it's like move on already. I mean, if they're really just friends, you should be trying to meet other guys, right? Whatever, it's just so pathetic that he still, like, trusts him. I mean, I get first love and everything, but, like, I would never put up with some of the shit he has. Oh, hey! Ow! Fuck! Oh, God damn! Him. Wow. So... Trev, yeah, I'm actually glad you're here. Um, you see that water bottle over there? Yeah. Could you get it for me? God, I mean, you're so close to it. You're so lazy. You know, we're, like, bleeding internally. We're taking a break. What are you guys up to tonight? Ooh, the same thing every respectable human being's up to on a Friday night. Chinese food and a movie. Right. You're not joining us? Oh no, Trevor has other plans. You do? Yeah, no. What movie are you guys gonna watch? Ugh, something stupid so Andy can understand it. Oh, shut up. So Trevor, weren't you like leaving or something? I believe I was. Great. Oh, but before I go, Andy, can I get you anything? I mean, I've never seen you at such a late hour without a cocktail in your hand. <laughs> well, now you have. Yeah, it's not in her hand because it's actually on the table. Mm. You know what, shouldn't you be leaving so we can watch this? Fine. You two have a lovely evening. Mm-hmm, you too. Bye. Give you one guess where he's going tonight. God, at least one of us is having sex tonight. And by us, I mean like out of Trevor and me. God knows you're not having sex. Hey. Oh no, I mean like with another person. Get off me. Are you serious? <laughs> no. D, it's okay. You don't have to go out. No, baby, we can still go. Just give me a couple minutes, okay? I'm just so tired. 
And it's probably, you know, what they have me on, you know, mixed with my... Yeah, well, shouldn't you only be taking those when you're, like, having trouble sleeping? Baby, I'm fine. Um, right. But you can't even stay awake anymore, so... I told you, they upped my methadone. Why don't you just go get in bed? Come here, baby. Come on. Let's go celebrate. What are we celebrating? You and me? Thank you so much for coming with me. You know how much I hate these parties? Probably even more than you do. Okay, wow. <laughs> so, you hate some more. You're not allowed to help hate me for it because my label's making me do it. Oh, is that so? For real. Okay, it's cool. Really, it's, it doesn't matter that much. I'm sure these people are great. I hate the party. Mm, 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 mm. I said I hate the people. Uh -huh. I hate these people. I hate this party. I hate these people. <laughs> oh, shit, there's Mary C. Okay. Tell her I'm going to the bathroom. That's what you'll tell her. Bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mary C. Not you. Whatever. Where's your friend, Josh? Hey, you? Uh, Jake, bathroom. Where? Oh, bathroom, right. You're an actor, right? Let me get your opinion on something. No. So, wait, did you just say no? Well, excuse the fuck out of me, Miss Queen of Sheba. I'm just I said no to being an actor. Oh. I'm not one. What was the question? About what? If I had been an actor, what is it that you would have asked me? Oh, you wouldn't get it. Probably not. Well, shit, what the fuck is it that you do? I mean, if you're not an actor. Um, I'm part of an elite organization of telephonic representatives. Yeah. I answer phones, like, for a living. Wow. Well, that's great. I mean, really, that's, that's interesting. Um, well, good luck with that. Trust me, hard work always pays off in the end. Okay? You look like you're having as bad a time as I am. <laughs> that depends. Did you see that woman I was just talking to? Yeah. Have you had to talk to her yet? No. Okay, then I win. My time so far has been worse than yours. It was like, the whole time she was talking to me, I just kept trying to wish myself back to a happier place. Like, getting a colonoscopy or something. It normally takes me a hell of a lot longer to work my colon into the conversation, but you just like, right away got down to business. Mmm, pun intended. Always. I'm Trevor, by the way. Ah, Ephraim. But actually, we kind of met before. Kind of. Yeah, County. I was working the day you brought your friend in, about a month ago. Oh. I wouldn't expect you to remember me. No, yeah. Actually, I do. I think I might have been a little short with you that day. Well, you were sitting down. A doctor with a sense of humor. Yeah, well, 
I'm still interning, so it'll be a while before anyone takes me too seriously. Well, sorry for being an asshole. Do you want to get out of here? Like, right now? <laughs> Pick a light. Do what now? I do this thing with uh, building lights, stars, whatever happens to be in view. You see, you look out there and there's all these amazing lights. Just a huge smattering of lights. So what you do is you choose one and describe what's happening there. Go ahead. Try it. Okay. So that light no, right there. No, 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 no. Don't show me. Just tell me. Is there a manual? I mean, I feel like this would be a lot easier if there were like a guide or something. I'm your guide. I'll do it. I'm looking at this light. Yes. And I see um, a young boy sitting in his room. He's maybe 12. He's just gotten into this huge fight with his dad. And it was one of those fights that end up being bigger than the people having it. And this time, he's not so sure they'll be able to get past it. So he just hugs his knees closer to his chest and dreams of someday getting away. You can really see that. Great eyes. Shut up. I'm playing your game, don't make fun of me. I wasn't. You do have great eyes, Scout's honor. Yeah, I was never a scout. I don't know if I should be asking this, but I've just really been wondering how your friend is doing. He's fine. Is he still? No, I'm, at least I don't think, yeah, I mean, he's on methadone, so. Oh, okay. So you guys still do see each other then? Yeah, we're still friends. Are you still more than friends? Consider me single. Good. For you. <laughs> and for me. I don't really know how to respond to that. <laughs> Question. I don't have the answer.
Did you just walk by me? No. Oh. God, why is your couch so uncomfortable? Why did you drink so much that you had to spend the night on it? To... What? God, I was gonna say touche, but I didn't feel like finishing it. Now I have. God, if, by the way, if you hadn't left me at the party, I might not have floated back to your place like an alcoholic blimp. Where'd you go, anyway? Wait, how did you even get in here? God, why does everyone keep asking me that? I don't know. Where's the guitar you never use? You don't live here, you know. Found it. You seem weird. What are you doing? Are you like smiling for some reason? For real, are you fantasizing about unicorns again? Yes, Jake. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt. Please continue with your faggotry. Thanks. There you go again. Okay, so maybe I am just a little more whatever than yesterday. Yeah, you are weirder than yesterday. Shh. Don't talk. Just play. Ooh, so I was thinking about becoming a vegetarian. What? No meat. I know what it means, Jake. Look, I'm sorry to say this, but your meat-eating habits are the only thing currently distinguishing you from lesbian. <laughs> Honestly, if you do that, you'll become a full-fledged carpet muncher. That is so gross. It's true. I mean, nothing against lesbians, though. And I have an aunt who's lesbian. Oh my god, I love it. It's like when that soccer mom in the South is all... Seriously, though, I, I have a black friend at work. You know I was just joking about lesbians, though, right? Totally. I, I love them. We drift across the table, but we're worlds apart. So back to me becoming a vegetarian, you know, animal protein isn't all that good for you. I've been talking to Deanna about it because she's like a vegan. Yeah, well, she's also a Wicca. Oh yeah. Fuck. I'm sure I told him seven o'clock. Oh my god, he'll be here. And hopefully some of my drink. How did you get yours already? Did you get sex? What? Sex on the beach. Right. Oh. I know how much you love those cunty drinks, so I just like assumed. Right. What did you think I was talking about? Guys, I'm so sorry I'm late. <laughs> you should be sorry about how much you're sweating. Is everything okay? Yeah, no. Everything's fine. Just a little mix up. Daryl borrowed my car and he was supposed to pick me up, but he got tied up with something, so. Well, why didn't you just call one of us? Yeah, no. See, okay. He, okay, uh, he forgot to call me ahead of time, and by the time that I got done with work, uh, he didn't have reception where he was, so I kind of waited for like a while before I heard from him. So, how did you get here? I just walked. You walked all the way from work? Yes, I walked. One foot in front of the other. It's not that big of a deal. Can we just, like, move on? Okay. Moving on. So I met someone last night. <laughs> <laughs> See, oh I knew it. I now, when you say someone, like, <laughs> what exactly do you mean? Oh, my god. Can I take that back? I didn't mean no. to tell you guys that. <laughs> Sorry, there's no take backs at this table. <laughs> so talk about it. So. The other night when you left me at the party with Mary C. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do you take all your dates to a parking lot? So this is a date, huh? No, I, I didn't mean date like that. I didn't mean to say date. I, I know it's not a date. I mean, technically we just met, so I wouldn't even... <laughs> I should just stop talking, huh? Yeah. 
Under the stars? Oh my god. <laughs> so what does this mean? What do you think? Trevor's in love again. Very funny. Oh, come on, you guys kissed. I mean, in Trevor terms, you're like practically married already. It doesn't mean anything necessarily, okay? It was just really nice. Well, does it mean you're finally over Daryl? Because to be honest, I was kind of getting sick of the whole pseudo friendship thing. It was just wrong. Andy, you are way out of line. I'm sorry, what are we talking about? <laughs> Andy, I'm not having this discussion again. Yeah. Oh. Daryl's clean, okay? That's all you need to know. It's really none of your business anyway. Oh, it's not? No. You've been making it my business for quite some time now. Have I? Uh -huh. Okay, well obviously he's not anymore, so can both of you please just drop Anything it? Else? Hi, I'm sorry. My friends are fighting, so could you bring us some more drinks? Because their friendship like totally depends on it. You happy now? It's more liquor coming, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it'll be a summer wedding. <laughs> Jake, shut up already. Hey, so who's your maid of honor gonna be? Me or Jake? <laughs> Great, so you're playing along now too? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Andy. Don't you think flower girl's a little more your speed? <laughs> yeah. Even though this conversation is thrilling and all, <laughs> I really didn't get much sleep last night, so. Can we actually, like, go? <laughs> Hey, you. Oh, hey. <laughs> Guys, this is, um... Richard. Richard, <laughs> right. I mean, these are my friends, uh, Trevor and Andy. Hey, nice Hi. to meet you. <laughs> so, wow, I mean, you're, you're here. What are, you, what are you doing here? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Don't be so silly. <laughs> well, too bad I didn't know you guys were out here. I've been bartending all night. I could have hooked you guys up or something. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry I'd stay, but I promised some friends I'd stop by as soon as I got cut, so... <laughs> it's like, not a big deal. We were totally just leaving. All right, well, you need to call me, because I want to go out this weekend. All right, well, it was nice to meet you guys, yes. and you call me. <laughs> yeah, I hate him. <laughs> You're the one who fucked him. <laughs> You're right. I don't hate him. I hate her. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> Hi. Hi, keys. Sorry about earlier. Me too. Oh my god. What? I know that guy. He used to be Daryl's dealer. So. And that's my car. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Trevor! Watching and waiting, telling time, telling lies, half-truths, whole truths, and nothing but the truths. There is no truth, at least none that I can discern. Veterinarian's office. I like that. See, I've gotten a lot better at this game. So let's play my game now. You have a game. Yeah, so it's not so much a game, really. <laughs> It's just more like you divulging personal information. And go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Like what? Like past relationships. This is a game. Okay, what do you want to know? Just give me the big stuff. Any particular ex-boyfriends that I should know about? Um, not really. Come on, just think of something. I don't know. I guess most of my relationships have been pretty insignificant. Seems like a lot of the guys out here aren't looking for the same thing I am. And what's that? Everything. Destiny. And no one's lived up to that yet? No. Not really. Ask me again in a little while, though. So cheesy. Oh. <laughs> you think that's funny, huh? Mm hmm. You think that's funny? Yep. Huh? What about this? Is this funny? <laughs> no, not really. 
You're really not ticklish. No, nor am I five years old. For like at least a minute, you sounded like a 12 year old cheerleader. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> it's very athletic. <laughs> it's really nice that you cooked lunch at my place today. Where did that come from? Just thinking. It's kind of like we live together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you ever play house when you were a kid? Oh my god, you are a 12 year old girl. <laughs> Shut up. No. I don't know. Just thinking how nice it would be kind of to stop playing house. But babe, I don't think any of the other little girls would still want to be your friend if you gave that up. Shut up! <laughs> Wait, what's going on? <gasps> Are you perhaps truly ticklish? <sighs> I'm not. <laughs> Stop! Stop it, I'm not! <laughs> Uncle! <laughs> what did you say to me? Uncle. To get you to stop. But why did you call me Uncle? Are you being for real? You don't know what uncle means. Hmm. Like, you've never heard that. No. <laughs> what are you, Canadian? Dude, it's something that kids say. Dude. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, when they want someone to stop torturing them, it's like surrender. I thought it was what you called the brother of one of your parents. <laughs> I can't believe you've never heard that. I can't believe you make something like that up and pass it off as truth. Oh my gee, you're so delusional. <laughs> Get out of bed. It's my bed. I don't care. You're banished from the bedroom. Hey, Go get something to clean up. Hey. I have spoken. And earlier, you said that I was the boss. <sighs> what an idiot I am. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god, I'm so fat. Yeah, I was gonna say something earlier. For but... real? Wait, we don't think I'm gonna get like a tan or something, do we? Jake, I keep telling you, the undead don't tan. Okay, good, because I hate that like bronzy skin tone. You know, like yours. Uh-huh. <laughs> What are you doing? Can I have that back? No, seriously, what is this? Um, it's a card. You just read it, so you must know what it is. Oh, I read it all right. Unfortunately, I can't process all of the crap pouring out of it. Is this a poem? No. Okay, maybe, so? You write Ephraim poetry. I do not write Ephraim poetry. I don't write him poetry, okay? I wrote him a poem. One poem. Wow, I'm like so grossed out right now. Shut up, I just, I thought it would be sweet. Can you never? Whatever. You know, maybe if you ever uh, spent more than a couple hours with one of your guys, you might find that some of them write poetry too. What would be the point in that? Who are you? Someone who's obviously more realistic than you.
Okay, so listen. I have a kind of a favor to ask of you. Oh, God. I'm going to regret asking what it is, aren't I? I don't know. Whatever, just tell me. What is it? It's like so stupid. Uh, not a big deal whatsoever. I just was thinking. Jake. Come on. Okay. So I think I might be pregnant. Oh my god, I can't believe this is coming out of my mouth. I want you to go with me to get an HIV test. I haven't been tested in a minute, so I'm just a little bit anxious about it. And I don't know, I just thought that, you know. Yeah, no, I know. I should probably go get tested too. Yeah, I mean, who knows what Daryl gave you. Oh my god, shut up. Whatever, let's go. Now? Yeah, they have that new quick response test or whatever. Like, why wait? Okay. Hey, Andy! I wanna go get tested for the HIV? Relationship, which is completely monogamous, so just still staying protected and not having sex with anyone else, I guess. Well, you seem to have your bases pretty much covered. All right, Thanks. be safe. Oh, thank God. Good. So, what are some of the ways you think you could help to keep yourself at low risk for transmission? Abstain. I think I'll wait for the blood work. God, it's like eating itself. Your stomach? No, my ass. Yes, my stomach. What was taking so long? Oh, I don't know. There was this mix up, and then the lady was like talking way too much. But can we go? I am starving. Right? Thank you. <laughs> so you're sure that everything's OK? Oh, my god. Please. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, I, I just came with my friend for like moral support. I understand. I mean, if anyone should have it, he should have it. Well, when do I get the results back for the second test, the um, the blood test? It takes seven days. Realize we had any messages. That's because you never checked the machine. Or answered the door. You look good, by the way. Oh, thanks. Just finished this one. Nice. Hey, party face.
I'm gonna have to get drunk now. I told him you didn't want to see him, but he just pushed past me. He's like strong for a leprechaun. What the fuck are you doing? You need to talk. Fine. Jake, would you mind closing the door? Yeah. Other side. Yeah, I get it. Talk about what? You, Trevor... <laughs> you don't understand. Maybe I don't. But I don't care to anymore, either. <laughs> You're so fucked up, D. Uh, I know. You, I you, know that! You don't know, okay? If you knew... You change. I want to, baby, but it's not enough. I need help. You need to help me. I don't need to do anything for you. Okay. But I'm asking you. I'm pleading with you. Girl, just... we've been through this so many fucking times now. Well, maybe I wouldn't be so fucked up if someone was actually there for me. If you were actually there for me. Don't you dare try to blame me, okay? This is not I, my fault. I'm not blaming you. You not... are not my fault. You're the one who can't handle any of your own problems. Guess what, Daryl? Everyone's got problems, okay? You don't have a fucking monopoly on pain. I think you like being an addict, D. Because you think it leaves you blameless in some way, like, you can't be held responsible for your actions because you're no longer in control. Yeah, you're one to talk. You know what? I'm not gonna be here for you to fall back on anymore. So you've gotta learn to stand on your own two feet. Use those feet and get the fuck out of my house. You're fucking, you're high? You're fucking high? You come over here to tell me to help you to dig and you're high? Get up. Hey, baby, don't, don't. Get up. No, Trevor, just don't. Get out. <laughs> Fuck you. Thank you. Oh, Buffy, it's me. Are you okay? God, I could hear you guys yelling from out there. I mean, I was standing a little closer to the door, but still. I can't believe him. Honestly, I'm fine now. God. You guys, it's fine, seriously. Just go back to party. It's always fun to see Daryl. Like, who does that? You're really okay, though. 
I mean, if you want to... fine. I just don't understand how that person used to be my best friend. And my boyfriend, no less. I don't know. What about me? What? Did you ever feel that way about me? Are you kidding me? Why the fuck would you say that? I just wonder whether this is the right time for us. You know? No, I don't know. Look, tonight made me realize something. Sometimes it's not just about getting over the person. It's about getting over what they did to you. And what do you mean by that? I could hear you guys in there. And you sounded so upset, so hurt, and... Yeah, so? So, so maybe you're not ready for this, Trevor. And that's for you to decide. No, I... Look, I know how you feel about me. I just want to let you know you have an out. Are you breaking up with me? <laughs> not at all. Good, well, neither am I, so... Do you get what I'm saying, though? Yeah, I get it. Listen, I just want to go inside, okay? Good night. Trevor. Look, I'm sure he's just freaked out. All that yelling and screaming, he'll get over it. It's not even that. I mean, he thinks I still have feelings for Daryl. Do you? How could you even ask me that? After all you've been through, some time apart could be a good thing. Ephraim might be right. I don't understand this. I mean, I've gone through so much because of Daryl, and now, even though I've walked away, it's just not fair. Life's not fair. What's that supposed to mean? It's not a riddle. I'm sure you can figure it out. Whoa, what is your problem? Do you ever think that maybe someone else is going through something too, besides you? Do you ever think about that? I get that this is hard on Ephraim too. Wrong. Excuse me? Not Ephraim. Try again. Um, okay. Andy, if there's something wrong, by all means, tell me. <laughs> and when would I have time to do that? I mean, here at the Trevor Holden Show, we only have time for one person's problems. You're kidding me, right? I mean, if you missed tonight's events, my ex just came over and ruined my party. Our party, actually. And that's kind of my point. I've pretty much run out of sympathy for you. I don't know what your fucking problem is, but I doubt it gives you the right to be such a stupid cunt. What the fuck was that? Shouldn't you like run after him or something? <laughs> fucking roommates. You don't even live here! Tell me again, in beautiful mind, the one you told that made me cry. Whisper alone, love, whisper me something for a good night. Can't we pretend I'm not?
like I've been sleepwalking through my life. I work at an answering service, for God's sake. It's not right. Okay, so what do you think needs to happen? And don't say sleep. <laughs> How the fuck should I know? Maybe you just need to get plugged. Plugged? Yeah, like butt sex. Oh my God, do you even have a soul? <sighs> Please, I got rid of that a long time ago. Do you want me to find you someone here? Um, yeah, I'm dating Ephraim. I think that you actually have to return someone's phone calls for it to really be considered dating. Why do I even talk to you? <laughs> yeah, I can't see. Guess who? I'm not playing your reindeer games, so. Oh, I thought you liked surprises. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Jakey, I miss you. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been so busy recording. Right, Trev? Busy. So, I mean, we'll have to catch up sometime, but just like not, you know, not now. Okay, well, uh, don't make me wait too long. I can't stand it. Hours are like days without you. Hours are like days without you? Who the fuck was that guy? Just a, a guy. Oh my God, you don't even know his name. I mean, of course I know his name. I just... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're sick. I think I'm about to be. I'm so glad you forced me out of the house. I know, right? So are we gonna talk about whatever happened between us? I don't know. I guess if you want. It's just... Okay, I can't tiptoe around this. Were you just pissed off at me the other night? Or is this like deeper? No. No to which one? Listen, I don't know. I just had way too much to drink and I shouldn't have said what I said. Is that what I'm like? Selfish, self-centered, egomaniacal. You can stop me at any time. Yeah? <laughs> no, not always. <laughs> I'm joking. Trevor, it really wasn't even about you. I just have a lot on my mind. And um, I'm sorry I wasn't a better friend. Hey, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up and give me a hug. Okay, so I'll let you know as soon as I hear. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. Come bearing gifts. What is it? Bye. Thanks. Get in here. I tried to call, but you didn't answer. So. Yeah, sorry. Who was on the phone? My mom. Oh. How's she doing? She's fine. She's complaining about the heat in New York and how my dad won't pay to have an air conditioner installed because he thinks <laughs> it's... Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you this. So, shall we eat? Yeah. Uh, I got you. Hot to you. And, uh... Steam mussels. Oh, and that gross soup that you like. Thanks. So what was it like, the whole uh, nuclear family thing growing up? What do you mean? Never mind. <laughs> Stupid question. I've seen enough sitcoms to know. I guess I'm pretty lucky. I really don't know what I would have done without them. I think you'll like them. At least I hope you will when you meet them. Am I meeting them soon? I didn't realize they were coming to town. I meant in the future. That is if there's going to be one. Yeah, uh, about that. Look, I want to apologize. I didn't mean to be such a dick after the party. I know you were just trying to help. 
You have nothing to worry about. Okay, I really do want us to be together. Good. You don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. And I'm sorry if I made you question that. No, you didn't. It's just that it's really... Because I know that I have this tendency to sort of... I know. To be really neurotic. I know you do. <laughs> and it's just sometimes it like... It's what makes me love you. Like... What? <laughs> Trevor, I'm... I'm falling in love with you. about what I said, I... No, it's... It's just that, like, the smell of it or something... Um... Okay. I'm sure it'll pass. I just need to stay in here a minute. Away from the food. Oh, look, all I was saying is... You know what, I'm not doing this through a bathroom door. I didn't mean to snap at you. I mean, we're literally just resolving things, and then I go and put all this pressure on you by saying that I love you. It's just that it's I... Nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. You know what? I don't even know why I'm apologizing. I'm acting like I did something wrong. You know, I think things have been pretty amazing between us, and you've pretty much led me to believe that you feel the same way. So it's only natural for our relationship to progress to this level, right? You can't seem to handle that, Trevor, which is exactly what I was talking about at your party. So tell me, what the hell am I apologizing for? Wow, Trev. Thanks for clarifying. Hey, don't. Okay, don't do that. I just don't know what to say. Well, please try and think of something because I can't keep filling in the blanks for you. Okay, you're wrong. What? Not about how you feel, okay? About how I feel. I just, I want to do this the right way. I guess I just have to accept that. Sorry about what I said. Yeah, but you meant it. And in a fucked up sort of way, it's pretty romantic. All right. Seriously. Seriously. I don't get you. You said you don't know how I feel, so I'm just trying to clarify.
can't do this right now. Could you get off me? Please. song I'd like to play something a little different and by different I mean that this one's mildly uplifting. Uh, this is for my friend. It's to let him know that I think he's doing the right thing. We are just across the table but we're worlds apart. Looking back now it's clear that we weren't so smart But you found a lover inside this fighter And we found God inside a kick-ass one-nighter But that was long ago I owe you money, but business is slow Sounds kind of funny, eh? There you go, oh Calling me honey, though, I think you know You'll never see me again In the same old house Two different people Same drops of blood Still light the path what it used to be us hanging in the hallway now just shreds of paper and shards of glass when you burst through the gate I stood up straight You poured some wine I drank yours and mine You took my breath And tied up my tongue Yeah, you were the one To lower my gun You were the one To lower my gun You were the one Sounds kind of funny, eh? There you go, oh. Calling me honey, though, I think you know. You'll never see me again.
What you reading? An article about the learning habits of macaques versus humans. They're monkeys, the macaques. Mm. So tell me. Yes. What are your thoughts on New York? What are you getting at? I think we should go there. Okay, yeah, sure. I was thinking sooner rather than later. I'd have to see if I could get my shifts changed. Trevor, I know this is bad timing. Or maybe it's perfect timing, I don't know, but... I got offered the position in New York. They want me to start in two weeks, and I mean this hospital. Yeah, I know. It'd be such a great opportunity for me, and it'd be closer to my parents, and... Trevor, I know this might not seem like the best thing right now, but I really think... No, it... Sounds great. I mean, it's good news, right? But I'll only take the job if you come with me. He what? He asked me to go with them. You mean like drive with them, help him get settled, all that stuff? Well, yeah, but I mean, ultimately he wants me to move to New York. I can't breathe. Are my lips blue? What? No. Good, these blue lollipops always do that. What do you mean he wants you to move to New York? Do I have to answer that somehow? I mean, you can't just pick up and move to New York. Just because Ephraim got some position doesn't mean he can expect you to follow him anywhere and everywhere. He didn't ask me to follow him anywhere, or, or everywhere for that matter. Just to New York. Well, Jake's right. You can't just leave everything behind in LA. I mean, you have a life too. Really? If you haven't noticed, I don't have much going on here. Andy, wreck the car. Trevor, you haven't even known this guy that long. Now you're just gonna move to New York with him? This guy? Andy, Ephraim and I have been dating for months, okay? And he's not just some guy. He's been through so much with Daryl on me. Well, yeah, but now Daryl's dead. So don't you think conveniently moving to New York is a little like running away? Andy, come on. I never said that I was going with him, okay? I'm just telling you guys that he asked. Ephraim asking me to move brings up a very good point. He even said it. I don't have much going on here. No career, no family besides you guys. But basically when it comes to LA, I'm not even on the map. He said that about you? Well, just that I don't have a career holding me back. I kind of added the rest for effect. But it's true, I mean, you know it is. All right. You're right. Okay. You know it's really cold there, right? Like, in the winter? Oh my god. <laughs> hey 
Hey, Trev, can I talk to you about something? No, I'm really busy here. Of course, come on in. Andy, what's wrong? You know what? I shouldn't even be doing this right now. I, it's not fair to you. Shut up. What is it? Um. I don't even know how to say this. <laughs> I tested positive for HIV when uh, I went to the clinic with you guys. I'm HIV positive. <sighs> I mean, that, that doesn't make sense. How could, like, how could you get it? From who? <laughs> There's this guy. What guy, Andy? Just some guy. I got really drunk and slept with someone. And I don't even fucking remember it. <laughs> and I guess he didn't wear a condom or maybe it broke. I don't know. <laughs> Why don't I know? <laughs> That has to be the best stir fry I've ever had. You think anything you put in your mouth is amazing? Shut up. <laughs> Thanks, though. Seriously, except my mouth is kind of on fire. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I made that for a real man. I think you know I'm a real man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Trevor. Can I be Frank? Who am I gonna be, though? Ooh, can I be Walter? Trevor. Sorry. Maybe Walter? Yeah, I don't know. Not so much. <laughs> Go ahead, be Frank. Damn it. I should've said it made beans. Frank and beans. Are you done? Sorry. Please. Proceed. Seriously. Real now. About New York. I'm not trying to put pressure on you in any way. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. What number? Damn it, Trevor, please. I'm really sorry. I, I'm blaming the wine, I don't know. I'll be serious. Honest. This is the thing. I need you to understand that I didn't just ask you to come to New York with me on some sort of whim. The truth is that before they even offered me the position, I was already considering what the rest of my life would be like with you. So when New York came up, it wasn't a question. I just couldn't picture myself there without you. I can't picture me without you. <laughs> Ephraim, hypothetically, if I were to decide not to go, you can't stay here for me. No. I know. I've already decided to take the job. And I want nothing more than for you to come with me. But I'm honestly not trying to tell you how to make your decision. I just... I didn't want you thinking that my decision to ask you to come wasn't a sound one. <laughs> I 
I want you with me. You know I love you. It's this feeling like life's just happening to you, as if you're not really part of what's going on. We're constantly dreaming up different realities for ourselves, but what happens when the reality seems more like a dream than anything? You watch yourself living, and it's like you're helpless. You can't do anything to change it. And even knowing that you're not alone in this feeling is no consolation at all. The fact remains. It's just no good sleepwalking through life. Man, what happened? Are you in trouble? No, I quit. Dude, no way. Wait. As a child, I always regarded riding in the car as this sort of emotional experience. My father and I never really got along, so when he would pick me up from somewhere to take me home, I always felt like he was taking me away from the places I'd rather be. It was as if I was somehow being forced to leave something behind, a part of myself, maybe. I would spend the entire car ride home, turned around in the back seat, watching my happiness disappear into the distance. I should probably get out of the car, huh? Thanks, guys. I just sort of, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I needed to. Uh... Of course. Go get him, tiger. This isn't really a time for that phrase, is it? No, Jake, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys. Do you hate me? What, being late? Of course not. Shut up. I can never hate you. Not for anything. It's just... Okay. What we're doing is good. I know it. As hard as this is to do, I, I know it's right. Isn't that supposed to make it easier? <laughs> Best decisions are never easy. But it'll get easier. Eventually. It has to.
all I could do to keep myself from jumping out of the car. If I could no longer be where I had been, then at least I could turn my back on where I was headed. It was like that for as long as I can remember, until one day when my father finally said something about it. He said, son, moving forward doesn't always mean leaving something behind. It's probably the most profound thing he's ever said. Only it took me this long to finally hear him. It was the same then as it is today. I can't turn around anymore. And for the first time in my life, I finally feel like I'm looking in the right direction.